Now we move on to the accordion. Similar ideas to this style, but we're going to start with a gatefold on here. To do the gatefold, I've already prepped in advance so that you can see what I'm looking at. I've done one base page here, and then I've taken another similar size and cut it so that it will go over top and bottom. We will be adding papers to both sides, which have been cut to have the small gap and a closure. First thing is to construct it. Very similar to when we use pattern papers, we're gluing this time onto the white backing with the gatefold. And we have to kind of line it up so that the two meet. Therefore, using wet glue is probably the easiest because you can wiggle it a bit. Because I'm folding quite heavy cardstock onto cardstock, I'm going to take a small piece of masking tape and secure the back with some extra help. Right, so now we have the front part or the top part of the gatefold. Need to do the same at the bottom. I forgot to explain, I did a half an inch score and I then cut up towards the score on a slant like a little envelope cut so that that bit won't show when we add it. Before I even add this to the page, I'm going to add my mats. So these are going to mat on the top and the bottom. Once that's done, I also have some mats for the inside as well. As usual, it doesn't matter if you haven't cut straight or can't stick straight. This one, for example, leans slightly inwards because all we do is we take one of the fussy cuts and cover that up and we can literally take it off the page. In a minute, we will cut that down. I've got first meals because I know I'm going to be doing a closure. I'm going to put the first meals over the image. As soon as that's dry enough to cut, I'm going to trim that edge up. There we go. And the same on the bottom. We can, we're going to have a closure in the middle here. So thinking about that position, we can do a biggish bear. This time, rather than do a word i might do a box from some scrap i shall round all the corners i'll go round the edges with the ink and that is going to be layered on there on the inside we'll be adding another one of our mats. When the gatefold opens, you can do a bit more decorating. That would fold down, so that is the right way up for that, how it folds. And again, you could add another small piece of contrasting paper. This time we could go vertically, could add a tiny prompt. Got favorite song here. There we go, that's one inside cover done. Got the teddy bear on the train, slightly lower than the mat. Once he's dry, I'll cut the excess off him. Favourite toy. Attach all of that to that page. To keep this closed, we're going to be adding some buttons as a closure and using a figure of eight string. However, these do not match. So the first thing to do is to cover these. I'm going to take a piece of scrap that's big enough for both of them. Some Uhu glue, or you might use Fabri-Tac. And we're going to go over the top of the buttons with the Uhu. Put the paper on top. And because that takes a little while to take, put a weight on that and let that dry. 
Now those are dry and not moving, I'm going to use the reverse and the same glue to add some smaller buttons that won't be seen to help raise those up off the page when we add them to the page. About halfway, but precision isn't essential. And again, cover them, put a weight on them and let those dry off. Because when you cut them out, they're not that neat, I'm going to take an emery board and deliberately rough them up. I'll take the pink Distress ink and go around the edges, and that will be the final look for both buttons. The next stage is to use our Uhu glue to place these opposite each other, trying to make sure they look opposite. We're going to leave that to take as well. Now, this is fully dry and secure, I've put some string underneath and tied it. With a double knot, have some spare for wrapping round the button. And because we did two buttons, one slightly smaller than the other, it means the gap underneath is really easy to get to. That's it for today's tutorial. Back next time with some more page designs.